Hey, right, how are you doing? This is Sinclair's LX Spectrum Vega, you know? And it has uh, 1,000 preloaded classic games on board. And uh, this is the, uh, what it looks like, and this, this is the box that I came in, like, you know? And in my opinion, it's worth every penny, you know? I, I only spent um, 70 euro on this, and it's worth the money, you know? Uh, in my opinion. It's a plug and play system, and it's, uh, it's fucking awesome, in my opinion. Um, and uh, there it is on the screen there, that's what the music comes from. These are the people responsible for making it, like, you know. So, yeah, it came out in 2015 by Retro Computers Limited. And uh, it has adventure games, arcade games and stuff. Um, a bit of history about the Sinclair's LX Spectrum. Uh, back in the early 80s, uh, Sir, Sir Clive Sinclair, he brought out the Sinclair's LX Spectrum, you know. And he uh, put, he was a pioneer in computers and a revolutionary, you know. He introduced computers to, to the people of the UK and the rest of the world, really. Um, and uh, he made it um, so simple that anyone could program a computer and make games, you know. Um, he, he made it possible for people, for ordinary people, to program games and uh, get into computers, you know. Um, so he was, um, Sir Clive Sinclair was a revolutionary um, uh, guy, he really was, when it came to computers. Um, the, 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 the best thing about the, Sinc the Sinclair ZX Spectrum is that it was cheap, it was easy to use, and it was just a whole lot of fun. And it, it educated like, loads of people on how to uh, become uh, computer programmers and stuff. Because uh, the Sinclair ZX Spectrum was, was a computer, it had a keyboard. And uh, it came with uh, cassette tapes. The games were on cassette tapes. But it also had an, in, in, in structural uh, programs on how to use the, the Sinclair's LX Spectrum to program games. So I think it's free, free to say that today's programmers in that program games for the Xbox and PlayStation, I'd say most of them probably started out using the Sinclair's LX Spectrum. Because that's what it was designed for, really. Yeah, it was designed to play games, but it was also designed to teach people how to program games and, and use computers. But the, the two best things about it, though, uh, for me, was that it was really cheap and it had loads and loads of great games uh, for, for the Sinclair ZX Spectrum. Uh, our first game system ever was the Sinclair ZX Spectrum because it, it was the cheapest available. We, we didn't have a whole lot of money back in the early 80s and the, the Spectrum, the Sinclair ZX Spectrum 48K, that's one that we got. Uh, it looks just like this except uh, it has a big keyboard and um, you see them keys there, like imagine it looks just like this with Sinclair except it's just a big keyboard, it doesn't have uh, a, a D-pad or anything like that, you know. So uh, yeah, it's it's plugged into the television by... Uh, uh, AV lead and it's powered by a fucking USB lead so it's great that everything that you need to plug to the, to the television and the, the power supply is hard wired right into the system uh, okay it, 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 it would have been great if, they, if they'd use HDMI but uh, it's so cheap that like uh, AV cables work just fine because how all these games are like you know uh, but back in the day, uh, the, the fucking ZX Spectrum was so popular that uh, Atari games and early other games uh, showed up on it. So yeah, I mean, it was, the, the, the Spectrum was uh, going up against the Commodore 64. And it did very well because, because it was a lot cheaper than, than the Commodore 64. And uh, like I said, it used cassette tapes. So yeah, I mean, the Sinclair ZX Spectrum was fucking awesome. Uh, so yeah. So, so this is the Sinclair ZX Spectrum Vega. It's really easy, you know. Uh, you just take the, the AV cables into the back of your television and the USB lead into the back of your television. And Now, uh, the thing is, we, you can go on the Sinclair ZX Spectrum Vega website and you can download more games onto an SD card, you know, and then you can put the SD card into the system and play more uh, Spectrum games if you want to. But in my opinion, there's over a thousand games here, and pretty much everything that 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 you'd want to play on the spectrum, 
is on the Vega. But there are certain games that aren't on here. Like, like in Nemesis the Warlock, which is an awesome game. Uh, that's not on here. Um, you know, uh, 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 a Cookie, which is uh, another great game. That's not on here. Uh, Pissed is not, it's not on here. Uh, did you ever hear a game called Jetpack? Well, that's on here. Ultimate play of the game. What's the name of the company that, that make these games? A uh, chat pack is on it, but um, these other games, if, if you want to get them, you can go to the Spectrum website, download them onto an SD card, and put them in there if you want to. But uh, in my opinion, it's great value for money, and uh, it just started out as a, as a Kickstarter campaign, you know. And uh, it's it became a reality uh, thanks to passionate uh, uh, Spectrum fans, you know. So the Sinclair ZX Spectrum is awesome in my opinion. Um, they are easy to use, it's easy to set up. Now, most of these games use a keyboard, so figuring out that the controls can be a bit awkward, but it shows you exactly how to play the games. It's still awkward though, you know what I mean? Um, some games are, are easier to figure out than others. And of course, with, uh, in, in the instruction book, uh, showing you what all these buttons do. But within the games, they they reprogram them so they they will show you how to use the um, the controls. So, so that's the only uh, awkward thing is like, uh, figuring out the, the, the controls. Now, but like uh, give it time and and you let get it. You know, because some games have a virtual keyboard on the screen. And they don't actually use the D-pad, but um, it's so you. You just have to it takes time, takes patience. So in my opinion, like um, the Sinclair ZX Spectrum is well worth the money. But these games are very old and obsolete, like you know. But they're fun for what they are, like you know. And these are all like developed by like normal people, like I said, like like today's programmers probably learned how to program on the Sinclair ZX Spectrum, like you know. Everyone has to start somewhere, like, you know what I mean? And you can't get, it, it, it doesn't get much older than, than the Spectrum, you know? Yeah, so Cruyff Sinclair, uh, great guy, great uh, visionary um, a pioneer, um, you know? So, um, there's over a thousand games. I haven't played them all, uh, but some are better than others, you know? Um, not, not every game here is a classic by any means, but fucking awesome the, the amount of games that they give you here um it's all uh, fucking alphabetical a b c d e f g you know um so a lot of these games were never played back in the day uh, you know there's just so many games um but uh it was just a a, 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 a fucking roll to do you know chat pack that, that, that's a game that we got with our, our spectrum back in the day like you know and it's, uh, it's pretty cool, like, you know. See, it tells you the, the controls on the screen, but um, cer certain games need uh, a keyboard. And uh, if you press the M button, I believe, uh, the, the virtual keyboard will come on the screen, you know. But for, but for Jetpack, it actually uses these, these controls uh, up, down, left, right, RDM. This here, like, you know. Now, in the... With the original um fucking ZX Spectrum 48k or 16k, that slot there you actually plug in the uh, the, uh, the the joysticks, but most people just use the keyboard. You know what I mean? And uh, so yeah, I'll just press, press, press the A button to start the game. Now that pack was uh, made by Ultimate Player the game, uh, uh, which is fucking awesome. Back in 1983. Uh, when, we, when we got this game now you can use the keyboard or the Kempston joystick you know so what you're gonna have to do is uh, press number four which is sort of awkward uh, because there is no actual like number four on it like you know so uh, you have to fucking it is awkward trying to figure out the controls you know because if if you if you had a keyboard, you press far for the joystick, and so forth. So, <laughs> uh, so like you press the M button, we believe. Right, yeah. So you see where it says keyboard, right? Yeah, you you press the M button on the yoke to bring that up. 
Now it says press C to access the keyboard. We so uh, you see the C button. You press C. So there's the, the it's awkward, believe me or no. Now um, you see where it says symbols and digits. Really? So digits you press down, and the yoke for the. See I'm put. I want to use the keyboard. See, sorry, I want to use the Kempton joystick. So I had to select it. We, which is number four, like you know. So digits. Um, see four two seven. See, I I, I want to get number four to use the joystick. So you press right on the yoke as it says. And you press number four. Now, you see them them four um blue buttons. That's what these four are here. So it's telling me to press this one. Yeah, you see that the, the the joystick is start, is um selected. We that's what I want, cause if we don't select the joystick, it'll assume that you you want to use the keyboard, but there's no keyboard as you can see. Um, so uh, to start the game, it's number five, every. Right? Which is number one, but do you see them far large blue buttons? That's what these are meant to be, you know. And uh, them far smaller buttons are these, okay? Um, so press number, f press that to start the game. So the whole thing is to assemble the shuttlecraft and then and then get fuel to uh to fucking um. Not working here. Ah oh, shit. Yeah, the, the controls are a bit fucking awkward. Uh, oh, there we go. We, uh, you have to fucking... It's uh, d awkward, believe me. I'm trying to do this one-handed. Uh, but the whole thing is... That's me down there going left and right. You have to assemble the... Uh, the, 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 the um, see, so game over. See, uh, it's hard to do it one-handed. But uh, the, the jetpack was one of the most awesome back in the day. Uh, so yeah, I mean it's fucking awesome. And so you, you press the M button to fucking bring up all the stuff. So look, like I said it is awkward at first trying to figure out the controls, and it's so just for 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 most games on the uh, on the Spectrum Vega, but it just takes time. And once you have it, you're fucking down. Set um c certain games are easier than others to figure out, you know. So we'll fucking. Uh, I'm trying to go back to the main menu. It's, it's fucking. See, see what says exit game. Really? So you just go down to that, and you fucking you exit, and you go back to the main fucking screen. So yeah, I mean, in my opinion, it's worth it. You got a thousand games, and if you want to get more, like you just go to the Sinclair ZX Spectrum Vega website, get yourself an SD card. If if you have a computer. And download more games, you know, if you want to. But there's more than enough for you to keep you happy, believe me. Um, so, yeah, Drug or Not, loads of games. You keep going down to more, like, you know. So, like, when you change pages, like, left to right, uh, just bear in mind, there's more games at, at the very bottom, like, you know. Don't just assume the ones you see is all, is there, like, you know. You know what I'm saying? So, like, because uh, there's a, a, over a thousand games, you know. Now, Hysteria, that's uh, the name of a Def Leppard album. But I doubt it has anything to do with this with the song, Leek. Let's, let's, let's find out what. So this is Hysteria. Uh, right. It looks, it looks more complicated than it is, but... Uh, <laughs> if you're playing this on the keyboard, it'd still be fucking hard, you know? <laughs> because this is the day of control pads and stuff. This is from the 80s, the early 80s. That's just the way it was, Leek, you know? But back in the day, like it was fucking awesome. Hysteria looks fucking good enough. You know. A year after mix. Mix what? I don't know. We, uh, so yeah, it's had like one time to go. We never played this game before, but it sounds fucking good, especially for a Spectrum game. So that's me moving left to re. Trying to figure out how, how, how to attack. But this is how the graphics look back then, just yellow and blue and shit. He's got a tongue. That's what it looks like, a fucking tongue. Uh, yeah, uh, it's fucking strange, you know. Uh, but that's, 
It's a sewage girl and fucking attacking game. We, it, it, we can kill things with my tongue, like, you know. It must be some fucking tongue. Yeah, so just move left to read killing things. But it has great animation for a game so old. I'm, I'm amazed, like, you know. So, yeah, I mean... Yeah, like, they put a lot of effort into, pro into designing these games, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going around killing things. But these games are fucking fun, like, you know. <laughs> yeah, so not bad. I mean, the cool thing is we've got a uh, ghost and goblin sort of, uh, except you're a guy with a tongue, you know. <laughs> yeah, some fucking tongue. Yeah, but yeah, the animation is pretty cool. Yeah, so I'm just going to go back to the main menu, you know. So yeah, that's it. The game, um, the ZX Spectrum Vega. Uh, you know, um, yeah, I mean, it's awesome in my opinion. Uh, so yeah, I mean, um, Sinclair ZX Spectrum. Uh, I, I believe it went till it came out in 1981, I believe, and we had ours till like 1990. So last a long time, but it just went obsolete and. Times moved on, like the consoles and stuff. But back then, you had the Sinclair ZX Spectrum, you had Amiga, Amstrad, you had Commodore 64. But the, uh, without a doubt, the most popular one that everyone knew was the Sinclair ZX Spectrum because it was really made for like normal families, working class families, you know. It was cheap, it was easy to use, and it was fun. Whereas the Commodore 64 was more expensive and only families with a lot of money could afford it. So, because of that, the Sinclair is expecting to do very well. And Sir, Sir Clive Sinclair was a genius, you know. He made it simple, easy and fun and affordable, you know. So yeah, I mean, in my opinion, you should definitely get one. But the, the, the controls are awkward and the games are very crude. But you have about over a thousand games and the, you can't go wrong with that. And it's easy to set up. I mean, the AV lead and the USB lead go right to the telly and, and you're started, like, so there's no tuning involved or anything like that. Whereas with the old uh, Sinclair ZX Spectrum, the old telly, had to fucking spend all day tuning it, you know, turn the thing to the right and stuff. So, uh, today's telly is just none of that. You just plug in the AV cables and the USB lead and you're ready to go. And it shows you how to use it. Uh, it just takes time and patience, you know. Uh, so, like, in my opinion, it's worth it. Uh, but it might not be for everybody, the Sinclair ZX Spectrum and uh awesome stuff so yeah um that's the end of this video uh, thanks for watching if you're watching and uh you know uh, in my opinion if you want a blast from the past you can't go wrong with the sinclair zx spectrum now in my opinion re out there there's the recreated sinclair zx spectrum but there's a remake of the 48k actual sinclair zx spectrum with the keyboard now but uh, in my opinion don't get that because I heard that it's just not as good. Whereas this actually has 1000 games and it plays well, it works well. The only issue with this is the controls, but it, it, it takes time. Whereas with, with the recreated Sinclair ZX Spectrum, I just heard it, it's just not as good. You know what I mean? It's not as good as what it should have been. Whereas this is cheaper than, than, the, than the recreated Sinclair ZX Spectrum for RTAK. And it has a thousand games on it, and you can download more onto an SD card, and you fucking plug it in. And once you see the green light, it's powered up. So it's awesome, in my opinion. Um, uh, so that's the thing, same clear as I'd expect them. Uh, it comes with an instruction book and everything, so you can't go wrong. Like it just takes time to learn the controls and stuff. But once you have that down, uh, it's awesome. So that's it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all later. And um, take care, bye bye.